my name is Matthew Nusak, and today I want to show you about an interesting function in World Edit. I just recently started playing around with World Edit after I was uh, using World Edit to make this map. It's very, very useful. This is for a mini game that I'm making. And I'm going to show you uh, how it's how you can use it. I have my Apple of undoing, so that way I don't have to constantly type slash slash undo. Here is the equation that I have. There's lots of zero coefficients, so that way all these terms drop out of the final equation. But you can modify them to cause the structure to uh, change in a slight way. Now, this is the equation for a cube, a cuboid almost. Uh, but you can see, uh, stumbling over my words here, this is the equation for a cube. And by modifying these coefficients, I can actually change how the cube looks. So if instead of typing 1 times x, I have 2 times x, I squish it along the x-axis, which is that red axis there. The uh, blue is the z-axis, and uh, green is the y-axis. Now, there's other coefficients here, and they change uh, the cube in slightly different ways. So this is the cube as it is right now. And I can change it using these other numbers. Now, anything inside of the absolute value I call a shear factor, and you'll see why. And anything outside of the absolute value I call a trapezoid factor. Now, uh, inside the absolute value, if I change this uh, y to a 0. Point, if I change this 0 on the this 0 coefficient to 0. 0.5, it causes the entire shape to be sheared along the x-axis uh, with respect to the y-axis. So as you go up in the y-axis, it shears it more. And as you go down in the y-axis, it shears it more in the opposite direction. So if I uh, undo that, I can I can also shear it in a or well, I can also shear it in a different direction. So I'm shearing it with uh, shearing it in the x-axis with respect now to the z-axis. So as you go further along in the z-axis, it shears it in the x-axis, as you can see here. And I can also change uh, which axis I'm shearing with respect to by uh, looking at the coefficients in a different section. So if I modify this x here, I would be shearing, I would be shearing the y-axis, which is the second one here. I'm shearing the y-axis with respect to the x-axis. So as I move with respect to the x-axis, it shears the structure in the y-axis. That's how you can remember it. I keep trying to type slash slash undo. And uh, you can also shear it. You can actually shear this uh, more than once. So if I shear this one, you'll see the structure uh, becomes this weird parallelism. I don't know the effect. <laughs> I don't know the proper term for it, but I have both sheared it with respect. Uh, I've sheared it in the x-axis. No, I've sheared it in the y-axis with respect to as you move in the x. So as you move with x, it uh, changes the y-axis. Also, as you move in the x-axis over here, it also changes the z-axis. So you can see that here. Now, I didn't discuss these other factors, which I called the trapezoid factors. And knowing that I called them previous coefficients the shear factors, you probably know why these are called the trapezoid factors. So if I change this factor right here to 0 0.5, of course, it makes a trapezoid. And it makes a trapezoid actually it changes uh, the, what is it? With respect to the y-axis, it changes the x-axis, similar to the way before, where as you move along in the y-axis inside the parentheses, as you move, if I were to change this coefficient, 
it would shear the shape as you move along the y-axis, but this side over here would be facing the opposite direction. And as you know, we can actually combine these effects to create some interesting shapes. So if I put this here, I create a what kind of looks like half of a cube over here, and it is half of a cube, it's half of a cube, and then the other side, which is a triangular prism. So it's a triangular prism. It's like I took off this piece right here out of the cube and just kind of folded it down to the bottom. And you can combine these effects too to create some pretty interesting shapes. So if I do the same thing over here, oops, so if I do the same thing over here, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, I create a corner. So I kind of took off this edge of the cube and fold, folded it down. You can see that that's like a corner stair. And this can be useful for quite a bit of different things in uh, World Edit, where you could, you probably, if you did it right, I don't fully know how to do this, but you could turn these into stair blocks, and you could very easily make corner stairs using MC Edit. And that's all that I have to show you about this function. You can play around with each of the different factors, and... Uh, create some really interesting shapes that do some weird things, <laughs> like this one. <laughs> and with that, I'll see you guys later.